Okay, springboard workout for you guys. And here I am. We're gonna start at your board, short yellow springs at number seven. We're gonna pick up the bar. Stand nice and tall, squeeze your heels together, toes apart. And then just go ahead and elevate the heels, keep them tight into each other, and then lower the heels down. Inhale as you raise the heels up. Exhale as the heels come down. Soften the shoulders. Inhale, squeeze the upper back of the inner thighs. Pull the belly in and up. Exhale, come back down. Last one before we go on. Good. So now, squeezing the heels up. Keep the heels tight into each other. You're going to bend the knees. Fan out your toes. Now really zip up the inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale to bend the knees. Inhale, zip up. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, zip up. Exhale, bend the knees. Three more. Two more. Last one. Bend the knees. Hold that position. If your feet are getting tired, you can lower the heels down, but have toes apart, heels together. From here, we're going to pump the arms, keeping the shoulders away, keeping the collarbones wide. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Gaze right at the numbers. Long neck. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Keep squeezing the heels into each other. Inhale and exhale. Nice straight arms. Hug that belly in. One more set. Straighten the legs, lower the heels down. Go ahead and raise the heels back up, bend the knees and come all the way down onto the mat. Carefully plop your bottom onto the mat with control. I'll do the best I can. And then I'm gonna walk my feet all the way to the board. And since my board now is about five and a half inches away from the floor. I can hook my feet under the bar, which is really nice. So I'm gonna sit up tall, shoulders right over the hips, arms are long, and I'm gonna scoop my belly and I'm gonna lean back, inhaling as I go back. I can hook my toes on the bar now. Exhaling as I roll back up. I'm just gonna keep the rounded back stretching forward, reaching for the wall. Inhale as you go back. Exhale as you come on up, feel your pinky fingers holding that bar as well, not just the other thing, the pointer fingers. Exhale. Inhale, take it back. Exhale as you come on up. And then sit up nice and tall, widen the collarbones, shoulders over the hips, lower the bar down. Now I'm not going too far. If I go too far, I'm going to end up shrinking into it. I want to find length. So the more length I have, that's as low as I want to go. And then I hold on to that length as I resist the spring tension on the way up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. one. Good. And then you're going to roll all the way down and stay there. Nice long arms. I'm just going to show you this segment is just of um, what to do with the rolling bar. So not a real long segment here. We're going to bend the arms. Elbows go wide. I feel the back of my rib cage into the mat and then I continue feeling that as I straighten the arms. This is kind of emphasizing that lateral breath. So inhale, so do not raise your belly on this. Breathing out to the side and then exhale. Inhale and exhale. And just start being aware of what is touching the mat. Feel your back body onto the mat. Nice long neck. So watch that you're not jutting your throat out. Keep the back of the neck long. We'll do about three more.
from there, keep the arms straight, and then you're gonna scoop the low belly. On your exhale, you're gonna come up just to the base of the shoulder blades, right up to here. Gaze just over the bar so that you don't let your neck hang. You wanna keep that long back of neck, and you're gonna pulse the belly for 10, nine, see how tiny I'm moving? Seven, six, I'm not bouncing my bottom up either. This is all in the belly. Keep the arms straight, soft shoulders. And then you're gonna roll all the way up. I've got a little shake in the stomach here. I'm gonna round forward. I'm gonna set the bar down for a moment. I'm gonna grab that pull at the bottom of the board and just stretch. You can bend your knees if you need to on this. I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna bring it over on top of the right hand. And I'm just stretching through that left sideways. So I'm really allowing the lungs to expand into the left side of the rib cage. And exhale. I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna flip it under and the left hand flips under as well. And then do that same breath. Walk your hands around. So now the left hand is on top of the bar. The right hand goes on top of the left, really opening up that right side waist. Reaching that right hip down, nice deep breath in, and then out, and then underhanded with the bar, and out, and then come center, sit yourself up nice and tall, just feel your sit bones grounding into the mat, reach for that bar again. You're going to leave your left foot on the wall, so come a little closer so you can really push that left foot into the wall, take the right foot and just hook it right leg and just hook it over the wall, nice straight arms. You're gonna lean on back. Arms remain straight, and then you're just gonna roll up. So you just notice my leg just kind of follows along. I'm gonna inhale back. I'm firming my left leg into the mat. Exhale, inhale back, and then exhale. Good, one more. Feel your pinky fingers, hold the bar. Now I'm sitting up tall, my leg is still there. I'm gonna straighten my leg and bend the leg. Straighten my leg, try not to shrink, stay tall. Heart lifts, straighten and bend, kind of like tree. And then straighten the leg and hold. Good, I'm gonna continue lifting my heart. My arms are gonna reach towards my ankle. Notice I'm not bringing the leg to me, I'm trying to go lengthen the spine here. Good the bar down, armpits towards the ribs. Try that again, lifting the spine, lifting the side waist, and then come back down. If you get a little cramp in your hip flexor, you can soften the knee, and then do that one more time. Nice little calf massage here. Come on down, and then you're gonna lie all the way down. Arms are still holding the bar. You're gonna straighten that right leg up, and now what's gonna happen is you're gonna roll up to the leg. So we're not gonna bring the leg forward at all. You're gonna lift your head and shoulders, and then you're gonna come up, 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 along the back of the leg and bringing the heart towards the thigh. That's as far as I can go. And then come back down. We'll do two more. Exhale, press into that left leg, and then come back down. And then last one. And then come back down. And then roll it on up and then switch around so then you're sitting up just reset you always give yourself a chance to reset no rushing and then take that left leg bring it over the bar you've got your right leg anchored left leg is bent arm straight and then you're just gonna roll down and then roll on up inhale to roll down exhale to roll up inhale to roll down Exhale to roll up and then sit up nice and tall. And then that leg is gonna straighten and bend. Keep the heart lifted, nice straight arms. Good, one more. And then straighten the leg, hold it up straight. Good, now heart continues to lift and I'm gonna bring the bar up towards the ankle. Notice I'm not leaning forward. I'm trying to crown of the head to reach to the ceiling. And then armpits to ribs as I lower it down. Bring it back up and then lower it down 
and again. I think we did four. This isn't perfect. And then you're going to bend the knee and you're going to lay it back down. Firm that right leg into the mat. Straighten the left leg. Now the leg stays there. You're going to plant that thigh in towards the hip. And then you're going to lift your head and shoulders and you're going to roll. You go to the leg. You do not move the leg forward or bring it to you. And then you're going to roll back down. Exhale. So this is firming the right side into the mat and then growing from that soft shoulders. Keep checking in with yourself. <laughs> that leg's getting tired. And then up, up, up. Really reach, reach, reach. And then come back down. Bend the knee. And then just roll on up. And then take that leg out. And then just kind of shake out your hips a little bit and stretch forward. From there, we're just going to find our way, we're going to spin around, and then you're going to go to the wall. So head to the wall, you're on your back. And just for a little prep, just arms next to your side, just do some bridging. Always try to set yourself up. Um, so you know you're going to be doing some uh, little articulation and shrink wrapping. So just kind of a nice little way to set your body up for what's next. Okay, so I'm going to reach up, grab the bar again, and then I'm going to take my leg over the bar, and my feet are going to come down to the mat. My hands will go into the pole, so I've decided I would like to be further away. And then I'm going to keep my tail down. So I'm, you're not going to arch, you're going to pull the ribs in. I'm pushing the heels of my hands into the poles, wide elbows. And then I'm going to go ahead and just let my legs float up. Now the springs can give them a ride, but let's resist the springs a little bit. Lower belly engages and then press the hands into the bar and lower the feet down. Hug the ribs in. They're going to want to arch. Exhale to float back up. Inhale to come back down. Exhale. Check in that you're not tensing in the neck and shoulders. And do one more. Feet together and then come back down and then let's go up to tabletop legs so from here we're going to draw the knees really close your butt's going to lift you're going to find your shoulder blades you're going to press into them to lift the hips up and then roll back down and then get your feet back on the mat so it's kind of like a rolling through the spine and then hips up and then bring it down and then feet on the mat couple more. Come through, hips up, come back down, last one, come through, hips up, and back down, and lower down. And then rest your arms. You just cross your arms. That's a good way to stretch. Draw your shoulders down your back, lengthen your neck, lift the elbows up, inhale, exhale, bring the elbows down. Again, inhale, find that lateral breath. Exhale. Switch your hands or your arms around so the other one's on top now. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Then carefully bring your feet up. Get your good hold on the bar and then you'll find your way up. So that you can rest down. A little rolling like a ball isn't a bad idea here. Chin in the chest, a little stretch in the back, and then you can roll up and then you can roll down. Just watch that thing you don't crash into the springboard. Good. And then come on up. All right, a couple more things. I'm gonna spin around again and we're gonna get a little closer to the wall, and you're going to um, have your feet so butterfly sit so the soles of your feet so you turn your feet sideways and the soles of your feet touch each other knees open out to the side and then you're going to grab that bar and you can feel for how far you want to be there's no right or wrong you just make sure you're centered and then you're going to roll back now you've got to push those feet into each other my hips are really tight so it's a challenge for me when I get here I'm going to reset I'm going to make sure I'm not arching my back so I have to really hug everything in and then Continue pressing your feet into each other 
and then you're gonna lift your head and shoulders. And now I have to squeeze my feet. I have to really zip up my low belly as I come on up. Good. And then I'm gonna roll back. I'm not worried about lifting through the spine right now, just kind of getting that low belly engaged. Chin to chest, hug the ribs in, squeeze the feet, keep the knees open. They're gonna to wanna to come together. Yes. And then come back down. And one more, now I'm going to add the breath, exhale. And then from here I'm going to sit up and now I'm going to crisscross applesauce my legs. And just pay attention to which leg is in front. I have my left in front and I'm going to do the hip circle. So I'm going to just kind of lean back and just kind of roll around on my sit bones. I'm not trying to stretch the springs, this is just a gentle massage for your hips and I'm gonna have four in one direction and then four in the other direction. And then when I get there, I'm gonna sit up tall as much as I can and I'm gonna allow my legs to switch. It wasn't so good, but I, oh well. And then I'll do that again, four in each direction. It's gonna feel different, especially if you have tight hips like me. And then I'll go the other way. Good. And then I'm going to bring my feet together and I'm just going to lean forward and let the springs kind of stretch my back. Then I'll set the bar down and come on up to standing. All right. So. We're gonna stick with this bar. It's still short yellow springs on number seven. I'm gonna climb inside and I'm gonna turn around and face the other direction. My hands are going wide on the bar and my springs are under my arms here. So from here, I'm gonna just step forward enough to where I have a little bit of stretch on the spring and my feet are parallel hip width distance apart. I'm gonna take the right foot forward and I'm in this lunge. I'm really reaching through that left heel elbows are reaching towards each other and then sleeve, long sleeves probably are a good idea with this one. And then you're going to slowly reach. So it's easy to break the wrist. You want to keep those wrists long and then even when you think, oh, I can do this, right? No, you want to use the springs to work on lengthening. Pull the belly back in opposition. Just when you think you've lengthened enough, lengthen a little more. Grow tall. Check in. Always concentrate. Now here's the challenge, stay with that length as you slowly, 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 slowly bring that spring back, open the collarbones. So try that again, shoulder blades down the back, engage the stomach, shrink wrap, shrink wrap, lengthen, 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 reach, maybe even give it a good lunge, hold that lunge forward, slowly, 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 come back, precision is important. That's what makes three of these enough. Reach, 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 lengthen, lift the heart. Slowly, 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 even more slowly. Come on back and then with control, step back. So roll your shoulders, maybe turn your head, you know, whatever thing you, it's your board, you have time to um, really assess what's happening. Check in with your feet, shoulders down. I'm gonna really feel all my fingers holding. Sometimes we hold a lot with the pointer fingers. We wanna include the pinky fingers because that reinforces that external rotation and allows the shoulder blades to come down the back. So nice long wrists so they're not bent backwards. And then the left leg comes forward, get a good lunge. And if you feel like, oh, that's too much, you can always back up. You can always adjust the springs. That's what's nice about this. And here we go, we're gonna slowly, I'm gonna engage my stomach, I'm gonna grow through the crown of my head, lengthen, lengthen my arms. I'm gonna think about drawing the triceps toward each other, keeping the length, reaching through that right foot in the back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. See, my lunge doesn't change, all core stability here. And let's do that again. And because we're going so slow, it's not like moving with the breath, just make sure you're breathing with this even a little longer and then slowly 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 
slowly, even slower. Coming back in, one more. Reach, reach, reach. I'm gonna go deeper in the lunge. And I'm gonna hold that lunge now. And then slow, 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 back in. And then slowly reach back. Ah, climb on out of there. Turn and face the wall. Hands are wide again on the board. We're gonna bring the heels together, toes apart, roll the shoulders down the back. And then I'm gonna bring my chin to my chest. Pretend there's a wall behind you. Look down at your arches of your feet, make sure they're not rolling inward. And then you're gonna roll down. I'm hugging the upper back of my thighs. I'm not going very far. I just wanna go where I feel a stretch in the back. And then I'm gonna squeeze my thighs a little more. And then I'm gonna roll on up, gently placing my head on top. Inhale, prepare, maybe feeling a little taller. Exhale, chin to chest and roll down. When you get there, inhale to roll back up again. And then exhale to roll down. And just keep checking in with your shoulders, everything nice, straight arms. And then inhale to roll on up. Good, back up a little more. Feet together, parallel this time, and then just kind of work your hands in the center. This is water skier. I don't think we've done this in class, but it's kind of fun. So I just got my shoulders squared off. I'm gonna lift my right arm. I'm gonna continue lengthening, and I have energy in this left side too. And then I'm just gonna turn. My hips slightly turns, but not much. And then I'm gonna lift, lift, lift up and down, checking that this left hand stayed pretty centered. It was okay. And then I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna lengthen, stretch, lengthen, 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 reach. Really feeling that stretch in my right hip. And then lengthen, lengthen, lengthen as I come back down. One more on the right. You don't do a lot of these. Always trying to find length when you twist so that you're not smooshing your spine bones into each other. Especially when we get older, we don't want that to happen. And then the other side. The springs are stretched. There's tension in these springs. And then I'm going to take my hands wide and then I'm going to step back because this is really fun. Feet are now hip width apart parallel. Ground through those heels. Reach the hips back. Pull the belly in and just see how deep you can bend. Heels stay down. It's a great back stretch. Coming out of it, you're going to run really press through the heels. Reach the hips back so you don't feel your knees. Grow from the heels of your feet. Inhale at the top, exhale as you come on down, hips reach back, stomach pulls in, inhale here because it feels amazing, and then exhale as you grow, 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 tall, shoulders, neck, and then slowly walk yourself in, and you can place your springs down. That is the rolling bar. Or maybe some places know, know it as the breathing bar, short yellow springs, all at number seven. So you can set it up and do a quick workout and then be on your merry way. Thanks.